Gladys aka is that your hair and welcome back to my channel I am back with another wig review I have this beautiful beautiful unit by the Wigo collection now one thing I learned about the Wigo collection is actually only sold on wig tights I don't know why that is but they sell this wig and a few others this wig actually comes as a buy one get one free but that's the only choice you have so you have to buy two of them when you get this wig and two of them cost 33 dollars. so essentially you're paying about 16 17 dollars for one wig this hair is gorgeous so let's just let's just get right into it the first pros to this unit is definitely the texture this is mimicking my natural hair perfectly look i showed you the leave out that i left which was very minimal and where's the leave out y'all my leave out is blending seamlessly y'all i can't find my leave out hello where are you yeah my leave my leave out is blending so 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 well i think that's amazing for this to be a synthetic wig so i love the texture i do like the cap construction as well i like that they include that elastic band it definitely makes for a very tight fit this wig is not going anywhere as you saw in the tutorial i did add some got to be glue just because i can be a little extra when it comes to the parting space but i don't think for this unit it's absolutely necessary if you have a larger head you may not be too fond of the extra strap and you might want to cut that out this wig is just everything y'all another process unit is how they styled it i like that is just, you know, blown out straight just like this. It looks like you just washed your hair and decided to blow it out and prep it for another style. If my hair was this length, I would do it just like this. I like that it's also layered, but I did cut a few layers of my own in the front just a tad to frame my face a little bit better. This wig looks so damn good. Girl, is that your hair? <laughs> what you mean? This is the wig, what you mean? I just can't get over how this is blending. You saw how much leave out I left, right? I didn't leave a lot out. I probably left about barely an inch wide of hair out. I mean, <laughs> y'all, come on now. Buy one, get one free. You gotta buy for you and your homegirl. You get a wig, you get a wig. Everybody gets a wig. <laughs> I don't really have much cost this unit. Oh, wait, there is one con. One con would be the shedding. Even though I did cut, cut this wig close to the hairline, and I did that purposely because I knew I'd be wearing it with leave out, and I didn't want my lace to show through. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to wear this wig with leave out, just cut the lace as close as you can to the hairline, or even cut some of the lace off, that's fine too. Even without that, it was shedding a bit, so that was, um, that was okay. I mean, I love this hair, so I don't really care about the shedding, to be honest. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why this wig is so slept on. I've seen the Wig Types Lady review this wig, aka Din Din, and I was like, okay, cool. I saw Dee Dee's World review this wig, and I was like, okay, this looks nice on her too. But where are the other reviews? Hello? This is 
my texture and i'm sure it's a lot of your textures too i'm all for natural hair wigs i know i review a lot of other textures straighter textures on my channel but at the end of the day i'm a natural and i like wigs that mimic my natural hair texture this is oh this is hitting for me I did review another wig similar to this by Free Trust Equal, the FL003. It's probably not as um full over here with that wig. Whoa, the sun just, just changed up my lighting. Oh, wait. Okay, the sun just totally changed up my lighting. This is what happens when I use natural light. Oh, there it goes again. That's fine, we're gonna rock with it. So yes, I did review a wig by Free Chest Equal, the FL003, very similar to this, except it wasn't as full in this area. And I wore it to the side and the middle. I'll link that video in the cards above. I absolutely love that wig. And that wig is also another gem. It was only like $27 for a 13 by four frontal. Please check out that wig. I don't know why y'all are sleeping on these blowout texture wigs. This is amazing. This feels like human hair. If it weren't for the shedding that I'm getting as we speak, I would be like, okay, this, this is, this is virgin hair. Virgin hair for $16. You can't beat that. Ah! So I have two of these, both in number two. I kind of want to experiment with this one a little bit. I want to blow it out and see what it looks like. Yeah, I want to do that. I'll be right back. Wow. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So I just blew this wig out. And as you can see, the texture remains the same. It just looks a little bit more smoothed out. Before it was like a little bit out here. Now it's more um, straight down. This is amazing. This can't be, this is really like $33 for two wigs? $16.50 a piece? What? For this? For this? I'm upset. I'm upset because I only saw two reviews on this wig when there should be $2,500. Y'all need to get this wig. Oh my God. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is just giving me everything I need in life. <laughs> Amazing. I, I can't even talk. Like the point of this video is to show you like how to make this natural with leave out and I'm just stuck on the wig itself. Like, <laughs> oh my God, this feels so real. This is so soft. Y'all need to get your hands on this unit, seriously. But yes, the point of this video was to show you how to make your wigs look natural with leave out. This video was pretty much prompted because the video I did for the Janet Collection Jode unit that was make your wig look natural AF. You know, a lot of people love that video. So I decided to do like a follow-up, like a little bit late, but hopefully people are still interested. Just some tips. For one, make sure that with this wig, you are cutting as close as you can to the hairline because when you don't, I experienced the lace showing a little bit. Not doing it now, but it was doing it earlier because I fixed it. Also, I noticed with this unit that, um, this parting space area was a little bit light. So using my normal Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 360 was kind of working. But then when I would get down to this area, it was not blending well. So I had to use my Maybelline Fit Me in 355 coconut color. And I used that here, right here in the front. And y'all know what I said in the Jode video. The test is to make sure you lift your head up to see if you notice anything. I don't notice any like line of demarcation. But I'm just showing you, if I did, I would just place the powder right here and then blend, okay? It's all you have to do. I think this looks really nice. I think it looks really natural. If you are a natural hair girl, you should definitely get this unit. Even if you're not and you just like kinky straight hair, get this unit. If you're not trying to spend 200 something, 300 something, 400 something dollars on, you know, her given hair or something like that, try this out. You cannot beat two for $33. You just can't beat that. And this is why I love $20 Tuesdays because I'm here to bring you what's super cute, but Hella affordable. This right here is not breaking anybody's pocket. Get one for you and get one for your mama. Get one for you and get one for your friend. I'm telling you, everybody in your clique needs to have this wig. I love it. Absolutely love it. 
Let me know what you think about this unit in the comments down below. How do you feel about the wig itself? How do you feel about the parting space? How do you think I did? How do you feel about the texture? Let me know. Would you purchase this wig? I would purchase this time and time over again. Even if you just get two for yourself, it's going to last you a very long time. That's why I like kinky straight textures because I feel like in synthetic form, they last way longer than silky texture wigs. And that's a big plus for me. Again, I wanna thank everyone who showed me a lot of love on the Jode video. That is currently my most viewed video and it makes me really happy that you all took the time to watch and ask questions and give commentary. That means a lot to me. I hope this follow-up is helpful to someone. If you haven't checked out that Jode video, it's in the cards above and it'll also be in the end screen. And if you are new to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button and make sure you tap that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Also, if you want to see more of my recent videos, check them out over here to the right of me. I hope you all enjoyed $20 Tuesday and I will see you in the next video. Bye.